The egg is a biological structure intended by nature for reproduction. It protects and provides a complete diet for the developing embryo and serves as the principal source of food for the first few days of the chick's life. While the primary role of the egg obviously is to reproduce the species, most eggs laid by domestic fowl, except those specifically set aside for hatching, are not fertilized but are sold mainly for human consumption. The egg is one of the most nutritious and versatile of human foods. Therefore, today, we are going to talk about the structure of eggs, which is important in egg products processing and quality management of egg products. Mainly, the structural components of the egg include the shell, shell membranes, albumin, and the yolk. The eggshell has mainly four parts. They are mammillary layer, spongy layer, pores, and cuticles. The shell is built of 8 minus 10,000 pores, which ensures that oxygen can penetrate and carbon dioxide and other gases can escape. The shell represents about 10% of the weight of the egg and consists mainly of calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate. The shell thickness, and thus the strength depends on egg size, breed, the age of the hen, and feed composition. Only the outer layer of the shell is colored. The color of the shell can be white or brown, depending on the breed. A white hen lays white eggs, and a brown hen lay brown eggs. There are also white hens that lay brown eggs. Under the shell, there is an outer and an inner shell membrane. The outer membrane, which is immediately inside the shell, is the most resistant. Besides serving a packaging role, the shell and the shell membranes have a biological functions namely to regulate evaporation and air circulation, but also to prevent penetration of microorganisms. A colorless wax membrane, called the cuticle, surrounds the outer shell. It is highly alkaline and therefore acts bacteriostatic. This wax membrane dissolves by washing, which is why in Denmark, washing the eggs before sorting is not allowed. The chalice two cord-like structures, which keep the yolk centered in the egg, first appear in the uterus. The chalice also function as an axis, around which the yolk can rotate and keep the germinal disc in hatching eggs uppermost at all times. The albumin has two parts. They are exterior albumin and middle albumin. The exterior albumin is also called as outer thin albumin. The outer thin albumin is a narrow fluid layer next to the shell membrane. Middle albumin is also called as inner thick albumin. The inner thick white, chaliciferous layer is a dense, matted, fibrous capsule of albumin around the vitaline membrane of the yolk. The matted fibrous capsule terminates on each end in the chalice, which are twisted in opposite directions and serve to keep the yolk centered. This part of the egg is an excellent source of riboflavin and protein. In high-quality eggs, the inner thick albumin stands higher and spreads less than thin white. In low-quality eggs, it appears thin white. The clear casing that encloses the egg yolk is called as vitaline membrane. When an egg is said to be mottled, the yolk surface is covered with many pale spots or blotches. 
The strength and integrity of the Vitaline membrane are very important in preventing egg yolk modeling. Nucleus of pander is a plug of whitish yolk, with no particular significance for development, and whose function is purely a nutritive one, like the rest of the yolk. Germinal disc, or blastoderm, is a small, circular, white spot on the surface of the yolk. It is where, the sperm enters the egg. The nucleus of the egg is in the blastodisc. The embryo develops from this disc, and gradually sends blood vessels, into the yolk, to use it for nutrition as the embryo develops. Yellow yolk, is a major source of vitamins, minerals, almost half of the protein, and all of the fat, and cholesterol. The yolk contains less water, and more protein, than the white, some fat, and most of the vitamins and minerals of the egg. These include iron, vitamin A, vitamin D, phosphorus, calcium, thiamine, and riboflavin. The yolk is also a source of lecithin, an effective emulsifier. Yolk color ranges from just a hint of yellow to a magnificent deep orange, according to the feed and breed of the hen. White yolk is also known as, the latibra, is an area of white yolk, located in the center of the yolk. It is lower in fat, and therefore, stands out as a bright white area, in many magnetic resonance images. The specific function, of the latibra, is uncertain, but it may act as a central structure, around which the additional layers of the yolk are formed. When the egg leaves the hen, it has a temperature of 39 Celsius. When it is cooled, there is a contraction of the contents, and air can penetrate through the shell. In the heavy end of the egg, the outer and the inner shell membrane are split, and the air cell is formed here. The older an egg is, the larger the air cell, as water continuously evaporates from the egg during storage. Air cell is an air space, forms when the contents of the egg cool, and contract after the egg is laid. The air cell usually rests between the outer and inner membranes, at the egg's larger end. As the egg ages, moisture and carbon dioxide leave through the pores of the shell, air enters to replace them and the air cell becomes larger. The shell is produced, by the shell gland or uterus of the oviduct, and has an outer coating, the bloom or cuticle. The cuticle somewhat seals the pores and is useful in reducing moisture losses and in preventing bacterial penetration of the eggshell. Most of cuticle is removed from table eggs when they are mechanically washed.